Hi everybody and welcome back to the Walk and Tell channel. This third part of my series of Thailand shows the country's largest island of Phuket. Following my stay in Koh Chang, I took the long journey first by ferry to the mainland, then a bus to Bangkok Airport, a nighttime flight to the island, and finally a taxi to the hotel in the resort of Patong. The video features a walk around Patong and a day trip to some of Phuket's tourist attractions. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to be notified when new videos are added. I booked here at the Namai Hotel for three nights and it's a very comfortable hotel. And this is my room here at the Lamai Hotel. Quite a spacious room. Towels and a nice little touch in the middle of the bed. Opposite the bed, there's table and chairs. And a nice little writing desk there. We have a flat screen TV, the fridge underneath, and there's even a microwave, which is something that I've not known in hotels in Thailand before. And just alongside is the coffee making facilities. The room doesn't actually have a balcony as such, but there is a full length window from floor to ceiling which opens and you can get a view of the street below. This is the rather busy road which runs parallel to Beach Road. So let's take a look around. All along this road you'll find plenty of shops, tourist offices and the inevitable massage parlours. a few hundred yards along the road to show my two favourite restaurants in the town, both American style. One is called Hooters and the other one is the Hard Rock Cafe. Just coming up now to Hooters and you can see Hard Rock Cafe just a little further on. And right here on this junction is a zebra crossing. Zebra crossings in Thailand are by no means as safe as they are as in England. And on this particular junction, you'll see motorbikes coming around the corner, as you can see now. So be very aware if you cross over here. Walking down the road here by Hooters. Turning right, of course, as you're walking along the road you'll eventually come down to Beach Road, which I'll show a little bit later. So I'm just having a drink here at the moment at the bar. Ah. So Erika, what's your name? Yui. Yui? Yeah. Okay, my name's Ian. Okay. Okay. You can tell when the restaurant is open, especially when they start playing ABBA music. And right next door to Hotas is one of my favourite places here. It's the Hard Rock Cafe where they have live rock music while you can have your meals. The weather's been really nice since I've been here in Thailand this year. The temperature has been a fairly comfortable, constant 30 degrees. Quite often there's a nice little breeze as well. I'll just reiterate, going over zebra crossings just isn't the same as it is in England. Cars won't necessarily stop for you, even when you're actually on the crossing. You really have to pick and choose when to go over. That's just 
what he's doing now. Just opposite uh, those two restaurants is another of my favourite places here in Phuket. It's known as the Otok Centre, which is part market and part an area of drinking bars. And that's where I'm going to head to right now. I'm now in the Otok Market. And as you can see, there are plenty of street food sellers in this area. But what I'm going to do is walk straight through the market because just beyond, as you'll find out, there are plenty of bars, kind of circular bars, where you can enjoy a drink and a laugh with the staff. And here we are at the bar area. It's a bit early in the day at the moment, not many of the bars are actually open, but I'll come back a little bit later and show you the outtop area and all its glory. I've turned around now and heading back towards the hotel in the opposite direction and show you what's at the opposite end of this road. Just a few hundred yards up the road then, you come to a couple of rather large shopping malls. You have the central shopping mall on one side of the road and just opposite is the very large and well-known Yong Silong shopping mall. Just take a look at the upper level. And of course, the inevitable Liverpool FC store. I can't see any West Ham stores here anyway. And the top floor is where to bring the kids. And just about 200 yards from the hotel is the infamous Bangla Road in Patong, Phuket. This is where all the action takes place at night. The street is silly quiet this time of the day. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. But at night, the street is pedestrianised and becomes a hive of go-go bars, nightclubs and discotheques. Bars are open, of course, this time of the day. After walking the few hundred yards down Bangla Road, you come out on Beach Road. And when you reach the bottom of the street, you'll see a police station on the other side of the road. So beware, do not have too much to drink and certainly do not get yourself into any trouble. The police here will gladly relieve you of some of your hard-earned spending money. Plenty of tuk-tuks to take you to your destination. So now to the beach. 
it's uh, fairly windy today, so I'm going to stop talking for a while and let the camera do the talking. So great to see so many people on the beach here after the year and a half shutdown because of Covid. And there are plenty of long tail boats that will take you to many of the other beaches here on Phuket. Starting the tour of the island, first stop will be to the Big Buddha. So now I've reached a place where you can buy cashew nuts where they're harvested and this is one of the cashew nut trees and the nuts are taken from this yellowish fruit which grows on the tree You're allowed to sample the many flavours of these cashew nuts. Amongst the flavours you can try are coconut, mushroom, seaweed, and some barbecue nuts there. This one is the European honeybee. European honeybee. Number one used to keep to produce honey because they keep a lot of honey and not aggressive. And you see this one? This one is the queen. Hold on. Queen she have look at in high and must have thick line and she have four wing. Four wings on the queen. Yeah. For the queen. Normally we normally we have two and queen she have long life. She can stay seven year. Okay. Yes, and she can spawn new 2,000 eggs per day. Wow. <laughs> yes. And worker bee, they can stay just three months only. Yeah, yeah. And then they die. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> if queen bee die, worker bee, they shoot new queen. They make queen cell bigger than they come, a little bit bigger. And worker bee, they take one baby, put inside queen cell. For one time, they make a lot of queen. But when first queen, she come out, she kill one of the queen. Whoa. Yes, who wins become the queen. But when not have baby inside their high, they all die. Oh. Yes. How they make honey? They make honey, they fly out, they fly out and they stuck a uh, nectar. And this 
and they make the, the saliva and put inside the comb. This is believed to be the oldest honeycomb in Thailand, which once housed no less than one million bees. And a little further along is the Hard Rock Cafe, which serves fantastic food. I can highly recommend the spare ribs that they do here. And of course they've got live music as well.